Hello guys, today we're going to unbox and review the Spectre figure from McFarlane. But before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when new content comes out. Now, here is what you will get. You have, of course, the figure, and then you have the cape, and the head of the monitor. You also get a trading card, and a stand inside. Now here he is, out of the box, and he looks good, I like the green of the cape and the way it is sculpted. Now inside the cape you'll have some sort of power manifestation, and it is shown using white specks in the cape, so people might think it's a bad paint job, but it's actually a power manifestation. Now let's look at the articulation, now the head moves, but of course the cowl gets in the way now here's the shoulder articulation so you can swivel and then you have your elbow articulation and then bicep articulation too now the wrist of course gets the standard articulation you also get that on the other side you have your ab crunch and you have your waist movement okay. And then here's your leg articulation, you have your knee, you have two joints there, see that? You have your ankle articulation and toe articulation, and here is the split for the figure, that's it. Together with the Psycho Pirate, the Spectre figure is my favorite in the wave. This figure looks great and has presence. The green provides good contrast to the gray paint. The head and the face look good with the black shading around the eyes, making the figure more striking. The sculpt is also decent with the details on the hood and cape. You get the standard articulation for the figure except for the head since the design of the figure prevents the head from moving. All in all, this is a good release from McFarlane. I'm glad I got this one. So that's the review for the Spectre figure from McFarlane. This has been Kulas for Tambay Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing.